Hooray for Hollywood! Hello there, I'm Stan the Movie Man. This is your WIMZ.com movie review. This week at WIMZ.com you voted for me to go see X-Men First Class starring James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender, uh, Kevin Bacon, Rose Byrne, and more. It is the story of how the X-Men got their start. Uh, it has a kind of convoluted and complicated plot. The short version is a group of mutants led by a fellow named Sebastian Shaw, played by Kevin Bacon, are trying to start a nuclear war between the United States and Russia in the early 60s. And uh, they believe from that nuclear war they will rise to take over the world. They are being opposed by a group of good mutants played by uh, or led by Charles Xavier and Eric Lencher. Uh, James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender. Uh, they are, of course, Professor X and Magneto. The uh, group of good mutants uh, includes Mystique, uh, played by Jennifer Lawrence, uh, and they are assisted in this by a CIA agent uh, by the name of Moira, uh, Moira McTaggart, who is played by Rose Byrne. Uh, the two groups of mutants are facing off and um, the fate of the world rests in their hands. The, uh, I, I'll be real honest with you, this movie is thrilling. I really thought it was fantastic. Um, you get a more detailed look at how they uh, came together, how they found each other. Uh, we see uh, a lot of what uh, is in uh, Magneto's past that makes him the way he is. Uh, and you see the dichotomy between the upbringing of Charles and Eric, where Charles was born into privilege. Uh, Eric was a Jew in Poland in World War II uh, in the ghettos and saw his mother murdered before his eyes. So you see how they evolve into the characters they become. We also learn how Professor X winds up in a wheelchair. Uh, there are some interesting cameos in the movie. Uh, we see Rebecca Romaine Stamos as an older version of Mystique, and also uh, we get uh, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, but for about 30 seconds. So don't get too excited about it, but it is a funny cameo. Oddly enough, this movie doesn't have a bonus scene at the end of it. So once it ends, once the credits start, feel free to go, because there's nothing else coming. Uh, but the action... The, uh, the uh, storyline, all of it, very, very good. Um, I had a little problem with some of the special effects uh, in that some of the uh, Russian and American naval vessels look sort of flat and imprecise on the screen, but that's a very, very, very minor quibble uh, about what is, in general, an excellent, excellent movie. Good story, good action, good effects, for the most part and uh, I highly recommend you go see it. I am giving X-Men First Class five guitars. Go to WIMZ.com to read my complete review as well as to vote on the movie that I see next time. Have any questions? You can send them to me at StanTheMovieMan at ATT.net. You can also follow me on Twitter at MovieManStan. Till next time, see ya.